My first recollection of racism in my life, I was six years old, and my uh, great-grandmother, my Pākehā great-grandmother, had driven us to the supermarket for shopping. And I was sitting in the back of her car as we pulled up the driveway. And I made some sort of statement, um, as you do when you're sick, something about being Māori um, and Māori people. And I remember her in the driver's seat, and she turned and she looked over at me. And she said, oh, that's because you're a half-caste dear." To, to whatever my question had been. And it just, the, it astonished me, uh, the diminishment and the, the shame that she had about her own great granddaughter. And she had named me something, a phrase I'd never heard before. I'd never heard the word half caste. Racism comes in many forms, and it's not just about the colour of a person's skin. It can be about many different things that define us as other. It can be the way our hair is made, it can be an accent, it can be cultural expressions of any sort. And it's dangerous to go down the road that it's only related to colorism. I think the notion of difference is mainly complicated for people from a Eurocentric point of view. So for people that are coming from indigenous populations, from Polynesian culture, difference is celebrated and something that's um, accepted as ordinary. Calling out racism is everybody's responsibility. There is not one New Zealander can say that that conversation isn't relevant or isn't important. That's how we move forward as a country to become a place of equals. In my time of fighting racism, I think it's gotten better in some pockets of our country and it's gotten far more overt and pronounced in others. I don't see that as a negative thing in isolation. I think people are becoming more and more open about what they believe. And the more open they are, the more opportunity we have to refute that with them, with facts, with science, and with reasoning. The message that I'd send to the six-year-old me now is that you are whole and complete as you are. And that words that are designed to make you feel small are about the other person, they're not about you. And that people that love you may sometimes hurt you in ways you don't yet understand or expect.